I'm sorry, Sir Wilfred, but you're not to undertake any more criminal cases. The doctors. Doctors? They deprive me of everything. Tobacco, alcohol, female companionship. Carter. Yes, sir. You can bring me a bigger box, bigger mothballs. And put me the way of it through. 11.30, Sir Wilfred. Time for a nap before lunch. Later. Come now, let's get you upstairs. Let's get you undressed and we'll lie down. We? Oui. What a prospect. Upstairs. Come along now. No, no, don't pull me. I, I could strike. Oh, you'd never do that. You might break your cigars. What, what, what cigars? The ones you've been smuggling. How, how did they get there? In hospital, he'd hide the brandy, too. We called him Wilfred the Fox. I'm confiscating these. Just, just one? No. Upstairs, please. Yeah, I mean, uh, just, just a puff after meals. Not before, not during, not after. Cigars, Sir Wilfred, are a Don't be surprised, Carter. Some dark night I shall plunge her thermometer into her heart. Oh, no, sir. You mustn't walk up. We have the lift now. Well, that lift hasn't worked for a year. Indeed, sir. That's why we had prepared for your return. The doctor was adamant about it. He ordered it. Are you sure that it's... Oh, yes, it's quite reliable now. Sir. Shall we go? Good morning, Mr. Bryan. Ah! Oh. Hey, you. Sir Wilfred, how very good to see you back on the job again. Nothing scheduled except a few dull civil cases. Well, in that case, I think I might have something interesting for you. I have my client right here with me, and uh, this is Mr. Leonard Vole. And he's in quite a ghastly mess, I'm afraid. Oh, how do you do, Mr. Vole? Well, according to Mr. Mayhew, not very well, sir. Wilfred, it's 11.45. I know what the time is. Sorry. Next year, Mayhew. Nice, nice to have met you, my boy. My pleasure, sir. taking his brief, but May was an old friend. I'm sure he could do with some advice. Oh, yes. Well, I, I, I could give you five minutes, couldn't I? Well, it's very kind of you, Sir Wilfred. Oh, no, May, you, just you and I, please. Thank you. Sir Wilfred, your nap. You go ahead and start it without me. This is your fault, Mr. Carter. How can you say that? I told you. Excuse me. Uh, but if it's anyone's fault, it's mine. It seems silly to me now, but Mr. Mayhew thinks that I might be arrested at any moment. For what? Well, for murder. <laughs> 